Hi there. So today you must probably be wondering, where am I? Where are we today? Well, let me show you. We are at, I, mean, I hope I can get this whole thing in. We are at the Afrikaans language monument, Afrikaans Taal monument, just outside of Paul. And we thought this would be such a fantastic place to start our day. This thing is so impressive. It is massive. Huge. So it was inaugurated on the 10th of October 1975 in commemoration or celebrating the fact that Afrikaans was recognized as a, an official language and it was the 50th year celebration when this was done. Gonna have a look inside. Fountain. This is truly impressive.
honestly, this is an impressive structure. Eh? Yes. So I told you I came as a little girl. Yeah. Or a young girl. So that must have been shortly after it opened. Must because be. it yes. maybe five, six years after that, I think. Still looks good though, eh? Well maintained. How's this view? Yeah, it's fantastic. And I've always loved the design because of the curves. Yeah. Always. Very beautiful. Pretty. little playground for the children's So this is Paul Mountain, Paul Bear. Yeah. Of Perlberg. Perlberg. So it means Oxy. Yeah. One would say. Yeah, Perlberg. Come on, Engels, my dear. can speak however many others, it'll always be your first. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> and mine, as that monument. magnificent monument testifies. <laughs> it is magnificent, though. Yeah. Yeah, it's impressive. Very. How cute is this little water mill? <laughs> this is so cute. I wonder if this is just as a decorative thing or if it used to be functional because you can see there was water flowing through here and it used to spin but I don't know if it was just for decoration or Cute little mole there eh? Yeah, very very cute but can you just uh, check my giant bonsai? I see it's got a number three on it. I mean, I don't know what tree it is. It looks like a big, short Christmas tree. How me. do we always say when we're in the Kruger National Park that this is the perfect leopard tree, eh? <laughs> and you think this is? <laughs> I think so. Check these branches. It could go lay. I lay don't know. Branch. The lions will catch him, eh? <laughs> What a gorgeous tree. Oh, I oh. love it. Um, you asked me where to now. Yes. So, 
This is the third oldest European settlement in South Africa. So basically what you're telling me is there's massive history here. Yeah? yeah, no, my head is spinning. <laughs> I don't think, you know, we can even do a half a percent. Yeah. I think we drive around and we just look at the beauty. Yeah, I read somewhere that we definitely do that. We definitely do that. But I read somewhere, and I think that's it over there, that huge granite rock on the top side of Paulia, that it's the second largest granite granite outcrop in the world? It is, yes. I read it too. And it's called Paul Rock. Paul Rock, yeah. There it is, yeah. It says well, it was three of them, eh? Anglo Boer War Monument. So that, that I think is it. So it's in here in Laboree? Yeah. She says on the right. Yes. Oh, pretty, yeah. Very pretty. There are your three granite little yes. copies. Very clear now. Yeah, the wine estate Laburi. Apparently there's an Anglo Boer War memorial inside here too, but look at these beautiful farmhouses. There are those granite outcrops. So this building is a national monument. difficult for you because there's going to be amazing stuff on either side of the road. Uh, 1845, sorry. What is 1845? That building. Oh, okay. Nineteen twenty-five, nineteen ten, eighteen eighty. that's all I see. This is old. <laughs> oh, 
what amazes me that in the middle of town there's vineyards. <laughs> and a big town like this. Yeah. That was the oldest one yet. Yep. Eighteen oh five. Okay. That's you the beat oldest me. One yet. <laughs> You just had to, didn't yeah. you? <laughs> Eighteen oh five. now that the national monuments get done by the provinces now, yes. not by um, the, the government itself, it gets done by local government. I think there's a little bit of a confusion as to who is exactly responsible for what now. No. This on your side. Wow, it's beautiful. Gorgeous. I couldn't see anything on it. Neither could I. I'm on a website now, as with everything 1925. Yeah. So you saw that. Yes. As with everything, there's always uncertainty online. Yeah. Because one place said it's the third oldest town, and this site says it's the fourth oldest town. And it was founded in 1687. Boy. So third or fourth, it's old. Third or fourth, yeah. Now that is a problem we've found. Not reliable always. Oh, look at this church. Torenkerk. cornerstones and stuff. Yeah. First National Bank is in a building dating back to 1940. 40, yeah. Oh, this still says Ex Unitate Vires. <laughs> okay. So if I get a spot in front of this church, I want to stop here. See if I can check that cornerstone out. You might just be lucky. Andrew Murray. Yeah, the cornerstone was laid on the 8th of April 1905. Last to work around the front door. Those arches are beautiful. Uh, this is the original gymnasium school, gymnasium school in um, Paul, and the instruction originally was in Dutch, and it was opened in 1858. What a beautiful building, yeah. hey? Really pretty. Such good condition still. That's this pretty white building. Look at it. That's the Independent Electoral Commission. 
Okay. To the one side at least. It's pretty. <laughs> leads you. You can certainly not go wrong here. Eighteen oh five. There's your church, and it's got a thatch roof. First gonna take a walk to the bell. A cemetery yet too. So this is where they buried Hotlip Wilhelm and Tony van der Lungen. He was he was the preacher here at this church and he was born on the second 20, 29th of May 1804 and he passed away on the 7th of November 1869. This is a tomb with bees inside, okay. I'll just have to stay away a little bit. Paul de Villiers, born 1776, passed away 1859. And Anna Susanna de Villiers, born 1782, passed away 1851. And Jan Jacobus de Villiers, born 1806, passed away 1880. Yeah, and yeah, or more. I can't make out the last number there. It looks like 1847. Passed away in 1847, 9 November. Seventeen ninety-two, eighteen thirty-four. Now, opposite this old church of eighteen o five, this is the rectory where the minister stayed. Don't know if he still stays there, but what a beautiful old place! What is this? Oh, it's the Fort Trekker Monument, nineteen thirty-eight. In 1988. So 1938 was the 100th year centenary and 1988 was the 150th year of the Great Trek. So cool and that we see, see it here too. You see these things right into the free state everywhere. Which eh? is fantastic. I love it. I love it. So in another 15 years, it's 200, 200 years. years yeah. That's wild, eh? Yeah, that's wild. I had to show this place. The oldest pub in South Africa, established in 1896. You've been here once or twice. <laughs> <laughs>
Not that many times. You make it sound like it was my hangout. Well, <laughs> that laugh tells everyone that it was indeed. Uh, it's such a nice atmosphere inside there. Spice root. Apparently this is a cool place. It's our first time. It's a destination with a whole lot of eateries and experiences from chocolates to breweries to all kinds of things. It's a busy place. Spice root. This is a big place. Whoa. Me. 
I really enjoy driving through Paul today. It's just impossible to cover everything in a town like this with so rich in history. And isn't it rich in history? Yeah, yeah. But a beautiful town. Right? No, I enjoyed it. It was a fun day. Mm, we were real tourists. <laughs> yeah.